So welcome back to OWF 11 again. Uh, you're on Intellian TV. We're here with uh, Jean-Pierre Lenet, uh, president of OW2 and uh, Bull uh, Open Source uh, Strategy. Welcome, Jean-Pierre. Thanks a lot. Bonjour. Uh, so let's talk about the current state of open source. So open source has reached um, momentum. Um, I mean, we can even speak about a kind of uh, normalization. I mean, uh, we went from underground into mainstream in less than 20 years, and um, we follow the, almost the same trend as uh, internet, and that's normal because they are all uh, interconnected. So, while in, on the internet 20 years ago there were a few few people and few people using open source, today we have millions of users, maybe billions of users of uh, the internet, and the uh, same magnitude for um, open source. So, I mean. The panorama is totally, has totally changed. The current state is that open source is widely adopted, so that, that, would, that would mean it's a huge success. It's a huge success, and it's a huge success in all sectors. I mean, it's for the industry, for business, for startups, but also for education, for, I mean, local government. I mean, it has an impact not only on the uh, R&D side of uh, developing software and things like that, but it has a a real impact on the whole societies so and other, on other uh, sectors than um, software for instance architecture open architecture open art open science and things like that so while there's no doubt about the 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 current state of the art in the in the open source world what what do you think about the future so we can because now it's mainstream we can ask ourselves um, what's the future and how can it become? Because now we are in 2011, uh, we are at a cornerstone. What will be the next generation? Where, where, where will we go? What's, the, what's, what's next? And that's really critical because we, we face some uh, issues such as uh, net neutrality, such as um, more or less open and interoperable systems and um, some proprietary stuff, uh, patents and things like that, and we can ask ourselves, is, is there a future? And after two days of this forum, I think, and uh, lots of input from different participants, we can say that there is a future, and this future is as bright as has been in, in the past. I mean, when you speak about cloud computing, there is a, a big thing to be done, Internet of Things. Um, so that means that the culture has changed. The, the, the mix, the mix culture, the, the idea of uh, mixing things together and culture of mix or culture of remix is there thanks to open source. And in this culture, we get a new generation of new developers with new ideas, I mean, young blood. And that's very interesting uh, in there because now that classical, classical open source is mainstream, we have new ways of innovating. So, I mean, we're talking about, in general here, the, the, the future of open source. Uh, I guess we, we touched upon mostly on the actual future success path of open source. What about some of the challenges lying ahead? Not only for open source as general, but take it from a developer's perspective or, or a user standpoint. So, basically, we, we have to get back to the roots. I mean, open source is mainly an engineering stuff. I, I, I'm personally an engineer. And when we look at the, at the challenges, for instance, to make the cloud open. Today, it's not true. Uh, the cloud are, are more or less open, and, but uh, they, they do not interoperate. They are not as secure as a citizen sh sh should have it and things like that. And they are not as distributed that the internet can, can do it. So we have a big, big work in progress in there. Hopefully, there are thousands, uh, uh, dozens of uh, projects uh, going that way, and uh, we collaborate on that. To, to make it happen. I, I mean, uh, that's something that's very interesting is we can base our efforts on what we have done before. Plus, we have established strong uh, leadership on standards. Uh, for instance, today with the internet, HTTP is a de facto standard of the cloud. And thanks to uh, people such as W3C and open source organization, this is a real standard, and nobody can get back to that. And now we have to build on top of that, and we have solutions for that. So, 
lots of very exact, exciting things sorry, to, to do that. So basically I would say that the ch challenge we have, the challenge, our technological challenge, plus now we understand that open source and, in, and internet and the internet are real uh, platform for uh, intermediation for, uh, between business, R&D, uh, politics and things like that. So that means that's not only um, a question of geeks or nerds or whatever. That's that's a question of society, and there is no uh, no chance we go back to a previous uh, stage uh, before op op the internet and before open source, because now we have the freedom to do what we n we need to be done. Well, thank you very much, Jean-Pierre. My Thanks pleasure. Thanks for your time. Thank you. See you soon, everyone, on Intellian TV.